going to be doing how a banana is affected um, by yeast when it's decomposing. is affected um, by yeast when it's decomposing. So, um, so what will we need? We'll need a banana, mm -hmm. some yeast, some scissors if you have it in the bag, a knife right. to cut the banana because you only need a little piece of the banana. It might take a few days to see what the experiment actually does. So. Okay, so you want to peel the banana or? Yes, peel okay. the banana. Jeez. How hard is it to peel a banana? There we go. If you haven't peeled it, well, actually, you know what you could do? You can use the knife to cut the top part. Okay. And. To cut this part. Uh huh. And then you can peel it. There you go, cut down. There you go, and then start peeling. Watch that knife. Okay. All right, so, so now. So, how are we supposed so, to peel it now? So, peel it. Okay. There you go, with mommy's help. <laughs> okay. All right, so peel it. Hard to peel a banana now. Very, very hard. <laughs> that, that's okay. Take that piece out. Put that to the side. Okay, now peel this side. There. There we go. Now it will pro probably properly peel. Okay. It's very hard to get it to still properly. Okay. Probably properly peel. Twister. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's really hard to do this now. It should get easy. You could slide the banana out. Okay. You just and then you just need some pieces. Pull that off. Okay. Put it on the plate. You'll need to put it on the plate. Yes. This on the plate or in the trash can. So, okay, and the banana. you want to remove it away from everything. Yes, including the other bananas. Okay. Let's put them over there. Okay, so cut that banana in half. Okay, you want to put one in a bag. Yes. Or actually put both of them in the right. bag. Right, but in separate bags. Yes. Put one in one bag and put the other in the other bag. So if you put them in the same bag, and then you put them both in the okay, and then so you put yeast in the bag, then it'll decompose both of them. And you won't see the difference between the banana decomposing by itself and the banana decomposing. Okay, by now you're going to grab the scissors, right? Yes. The, some scissors. Carefully cut it diagonal, right? You want to make a big hole enough so then the yeast can come out. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay. So if you want to open that up, carefully pour it in. Pour all the yeast in, right? Yes, all the yeast. Wow, that's a lot of yeast. Think we should pour all of it in? Yeah, why not? Well, it is a big banana. It is. That's what I'm saying. I looked it up. I looked an experiment. I looked it up, 
And I actually had like a banana. Okay, you wanna size you wanna close it up and then mix the mix the yeast that bag. Just shake it up maybe a little bit. Yeah. So here you have one bag with yeast. Yes. Which yes. one is that? Okay, yeah, and we'll wait, yeast. and then we have another bag that's just, just a banana, just a regular banana, and yeah. we'll we'll wait. Okay. And what um what after looking at YouTube videos with the what's well with they the weren't yeast. YouTube videos I looked it up at school and, um, and there what was would... a website that um, showed what happens every single day mm -hmm. there's some air in this one mm -hmm. okay Still so you want to hold the bag up with yeast and the bag up with the banana. So we can take a look what it looks like. Okay. So without yeast, with yeast. Okay. So the bag with the yeast is over here, yes. and then the bag with the regular bananas right there. Yeah. So we'll put it to the side and we'll check it, okay. and see. We'll see what it'll do. What with the yeast? What? What happens with the yeast? The yeast is actually going to like decompose the banana. Like this banana is just going to turn brown and eh, just go. This banana, since it ha has the yeast with it, it's actually going to like melt down in the br like brown mush. Okay, so we'll see it in a couple days then. Okay. And is that it? Yes, that is pretty much you all need to all you need to do for the experiment. Now all you need to do is just wait. Okay, we'll wait then. For on the seventh day, you wait like seven days, and then you'll see like the full results. And the yeast is sticking to this banana. Not on that side though. I'm gonna get some yeast on that side as well. So the banana is fully covered in yeast.